Hello everybody, Rubble Games here again. Uh, we are continuing our grind through the mid game. Uh, so, um, today I've been doing a bunch of grinding, uh, and I, uh, for a couple reasons, because I wanted to be able to finish a few of these quests up and then kind of do a bunch of turn ins all at the same time, and then we'll kind of see where we go from there. So, uh, let's see. So, on the Reclaiming the Horde, uh, I, I killed all the fans and I killed all the Cult of the Dragon folks that I needed to kill. There's 25 of each of those. But I had to turn in 15 Dragon Horde coffers. So, I just got done grinding through um, Siege of Neverwinter area because it's a really good area to pick up those up. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn in those five dragon horde coffers i got five of them right there so i can do one turn in boom right there okay that's going to take care of reclaiming the horde i can go over here and talk to elminster oh, elminster is going to say great job the key thing here is that i needed to get these five pages of arcane lore the 4500 rough diamonds is pretty good too but um i need to get that so that we can go in here into our tyranny of dragons and now we can get our next our next boon so that was really good i needed to get 40 of those i was one away and so now i have 44. uh but i had to get the whole thing to get the five so that's cool so good we have a new boon um so we will uh continue to go there i think this is what our fifth or sixth boon or something like that we'll find out in a second so there we go okay so yay new boon um and i should just, so what we here uh yeah so basically we've got all of we got more than enough of everything uh, to get the next boon, we just need to get a whole lot more of those pages of arcane lore. So here we need 50 of them for our next boon. Not a problem. We'll get there eventually. So, uh, let's see. For our next boon here, yep, this is going to finish off power. So that's going to be 1,250 power that we're getting from boons on that one. So great. And then I think the next one we'll do is we'll start hitting uh, the health. And we'll do those five, and then that'll unlock... Uh, tier two once we get 10 boons so really need to start focusing on on some of those boons so okay cool with that all completed um let's mount up i am not going to do any more of the quests here i just did a bunch of them today and i'm kind of tired of the well, the dra well of dragons today so um had about my fill uh and so now we're gonna go ahead let's go in and turn in um well, here, we'll do this. Uh, we're going to go back to Protector's Enclave. We're going to, there's that Legacy Campaigns item there. So what this is about is every week, uh, Sabella Artist will give us uh, a couple of, two or three quests for the Legacy Campaign. So those are all those campaigns that we're actually kind of going through right now. Uh, but this is like Ravenloft, this is Icewind Dale, this is... Um, all of those uh, campaigns, you know, Tyranny of Dragons is in there, uh, a bunch of stuff. Um, uh, so, uh, and then what we get, get out of that is she's going to get us some currency, some other things, and then we also get, uh, we get to pick which campaign tokens, I think, or currency, whatever the campaign currency is, bonus campaign currency that we end up getting. For completing these weekly quests so it's a nice little extra thing as we're going to we're going to be doing the grind anyways we may as well pick up a little extra coin from that so heard you have the same visions okay so basically she's saying hey are you going to assist me and then it's what a legacy campaign so <coughs> just kind of talked about this <coughs> excuse me uh, she's going to give us uh, heroic medallions that can be redeemed for useful items These visions with the remaining members of the Order of the Third Eye. Uh, so speak to Sibella anytime you wish to trade in medallions. And so the, re the neat thing, there's actually some pretty cool things about this. Um, so there's bonus award rewards. Yep, okay. So choose your legacy campaign bonus payout. Uh, so we're going to do that. Uh, so right now... And the Order of the Third Eye will see to it. Um, if you ever wish to choose something else, come speak with me. We don't really need the Junkers of Cholt gear because uh, we're already going to be working on um, the Protégé gear set, which we haven't really shown yet, but I'm really close to being able to buy my first one, so we'll, we'll get that here at some point. Uh, Tyranny of Dragons is going to give us um, the stuff that we're working on there. That, um, Yeah, I don't know. So... Uh, Maybe what we'll do is we'll, we'll just do Tyranny Dragons for right now. Uh, if you guys want to see me 
do switch this over to something else because hey we're gonna really focus on Ravenloft for instance uh, I can switch over to Ravenloft and you can go switch it over to her anytime you're not locked in any for any length of time well the tyranny well actually we had a lot of that um I'm sorry I'm kind of messing around here on this I'm just trying to think of the next few items we may do maze engine doesn't really give you a whole lot folk descendancy You know what, let's do the dread ring. We'll do that for right now. Okay, so now what you can see is this. Uh, we've got Legacy Campaign for Storm King's Thunder, Cloak Descendancy, and Jungles of Chult. So we go through, we do the weekly campaign stuff in there. Uh, we have a week to complete this, and then we get this other stuff. That, that, you know, we get this bonus stuff. So we'll go ahead and accept all these ones. So you get these hero medallions, we get bonus campaign currency, uh, some runic pieces, 10 town supplies, um, uh, so a bunch of this stuff uh, and a bunch of experience too which we don't really care about now but it does give us um, you know our bonus chest every time we hit 80 again so that's good uh, so we'll do those and then select a change so this is just so right now we're in the there. so in the store here that she has uh, what you can get is you can get some of these marks of potencies and enchanting stones some higher ranked of these items so not bad there uh, and then we can also get companion upgrade tokens so for every three of these guys we get, uh, and we get a hero's medallion every time we complete this weekly. So you can get, a, what, if you do there's three weeklies a week, you can get three a week. Uh, so those things start to build up pretty quickly. And we can do that. There's also, you get a 50,000, 50% 50 bonus to rough astral diamonds. So that's, you know, up to 50,000 on that bonus. So that's not too bad. So if we're doing a bunch of, uh, trials and things like that that can really bump up our rough astral diamond um uh what, what we're accumulating there so that's good and then of course if we need some of these other things we can get those but for that's it for right now good uh good so we took care of hers and now we need to so you can see now we've got these legacy campaigns in here for Bryn uh, shandar uh show and star river and R the river district as well as we have this one here. So I'm going to, right now, we don't need this. Uh, once we fill this up, we'll get a Linu's, Linu's favor. I think the next thing we want to go up and do is, yes, this one. So uh, we are going to return back to Bruner Battlehammer because uh, I think we might have uh, a next set of stuff for us to uh, go off and do. Oh, one update on this is, uh, we won't get at this today, but tomorrow, uh, we should be getting our 110% uh, mount, our griffin mount. So that's going to be really cool. Um, we are, with, I think we have 13 of the Siege of Neverwinter token things we need, and we need 14 to get our griffin mount. So that'll be really cool. So looking forward to that for tomorrow. Uh, Alright. So, let's go back and see what Mr. Bruner Battlehammer has to say for, to us today. <clears throat> Alright, Bruner. We're gonna take care. We completed that. Cool, and then now to slay a demon lord. So, defeat de Demigorgon requires ten players. Demigorgon can be, can be challenged at the top of every hour in uh, Mantle Dareth. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay. Now, uh, then we also have our Sporting the Factions, which we need to get one more Tale of Adventure, I believe. And defending the Shore Coast. So I will do that on the back end, or, or off camera, since we already did that once. So let's see here. Um, obtain Tale of the Okay, we did that. To slay a Demon Lord. Okay, so defeat Demigorgon. Uh, okay, we found where Demigorgon is rampaging. And we got a plan, we got to lure the thing into a portal and have it come tumbling out in a cave not too far from here. That's when you and any of your trusted friends are going to help us banish the monster back to the abyss. I hope, hope you're ready. Okay, we're going to kill a demon lord. Okay, so, um, that's not what I want, I want this one. So that means, I believe, is this under epic dungeon? No, not under epic dungeon. It's under regular dungeon, I believe. Not under regular dungeon. Is it under trial? Ah, uh, epic trial. Yeah, Demigorgon. However, we it, it's 15,000 and we are at 14.4. So we're really close. So as soon as we get to, 
that 15,000, uh, we'll go in and we'll do uh, Demigorgon. So, uh, and hopefully we'll have a lot of folks to carry us because uh, we are not geared well enough yet to, I think, handle Demi Gorgon. Maybe we'll go in as a healer on that one, I think. Uh, and I'll just do a lot, a lot of spam healing. So, um, cool. So, so, we got that. Uh, I think the next thing we can go do is uh, we need to go to... The, so, the Dread Ring is not a bad area to go. Um... Or we can go do see a moving ice. See, the reason why I like Dread Ring is that you actually can get some enchantment stuff uh, for that. But let's start off with uh, let's see, do 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 do. We're not doing those. We're not doing those. Wait for tomorrow for the rest of that. Okay, yeah, let's go to um, Northern Lights. Uh, I haven't spent a lot of time up in uh, up in this area but I've been wanting to kind of go through the whole campaign up there just to kind of see how that looks there's a whole campaign if I can get to the spot where it'll let me I hit it when people stand right there there we go okay <clears throat> now so that's up in Iceman Dale and the sea of moving ice so we'll head up here and uh, start heading through the campaign here uh, all right Okay. Uh, get up on my horse, I think. Nope. Can I? Yep, there we go. Good. All right. So the funny thing is, I think we have already done Svardborg or whatever. Oh, no. We haven't done that on this character. Sorry. I was on my ranger, I think. Did we do... S I can't remember. Anyways. Um, the ring of winter is near. I'm glad to see you here, my friend. All right. The Whale Road. First first. Get a kayak, you kayak boat from Malak Whale Walker and travel to Sea of Moving Ice. Ice. Okay. Good. Um, Alright. Let's go over here. Malak the Whale Walker. Hunters have using a kayak. To you, I am known to my people as Malak okay. Whale Walker. Thanks for the kayak. Okay. Friend, if you are in combat, do not try to flee in your kayak. The great walrus shuns such actions and you will drown. Okay, May good enough. Good to know. Give you the speed of an elk and keep you from the jaws of the dragon turtle. I will not disappoint the great walrus. Okay, good. And well, okay. So now we're going to grab our boat. So now this allows us to uh, travel in the water essentially. Cast the activate the alarm spells hidden on ice hunter totems around the sea of moving ice. Okay, we'll do that. And do we have other yes, we do. Bridge of fishing catch ten stone of fish in the waters of the sea of moving ice. Okay. Alright, we'll go do that. And I think that's all of the stuff in this area. Yep. Okay. Now you'll see Make sure. Okay, good. Uh, you'll see what what I'm talking about when we get in here. So we will just hop on in here, and here comes up on a kayak. There we go. Okay, and we can go out here and. All right. So we're gonna catch ten stone. Oh, tab. Worm bait selected. The fish is hooked. Okay, reel in what to fix is hooked. Okay, press hold Q. Oh, left, right. Okay, yeah. So Q, E, and R are our fish is hooked. Oops. Set hook, and then we hold back. Oh, oh, hold back to reel. That's E. Uh, hold to the right. Hold back. So it basically just lights up and you just follow what the lights are telling you to do. Okay. okay, and then we hit one. And we caught an ice wind smelt. There. Easy, easy peasy. I'm going to get away from this thing real quick. Alright, so. Now we cast out again.
Actually, we have two uh, two stone of fish so far, so hopefully we just do this five times and we're done. So yeah, fish is hooked. Set hook. Okay, we're reeling back. Holding to the right. Holding back. Holding to the left. And land it. Alright. We've got now four. Okay, good. <laughs> Super exciting times in everywhere. But I gotta say the sky is beautiful. Look at that. Alright. Let's reel this guy in. There is six of ten. Let me clear this out as I can here. Oh, that's just the fact that we're catching the smelt. Fish is hooked. Bring him in. That was funny. Just went right, 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 right. And we are caught. All right, good. Let's cast it out again for our last time. Hopefully, We're catching two stone per per time, I guess. So, set the hook, and we're reeling in. Okay. There's our ten stone of fish. Good. All done. So now we need to go and activate the alarm spells on the ice hunter totems. So where are we going here? Uh, right up here. Okay. It's kind of funny when you get out of the water on this, I believe. Um, oh, and we actually have a one of our legacy quests campaign is the... Uh, Storm King's Thunder Adventures, which is right up here. So that's actually good that we're doing this. So, yeah. So, cool. All right. So, we need to go over here. And we're going to pop you. Out of there. Good. So, uh, very similar to some of the other area campaign areas, um, I don't believe we're going to get any really upgraded items here. Ah, missed on that one. Come on, tab it. There we go. Wait. I center totem. I have another, oh, okay, there's one there, okay. Yeah, the the way this thing routes you around, it's kind of funny. And we're back in our kayak, kayak, kayak. Okay, it was saying go up on there, but I don't think that's where we wanted to go. We need to go over here. Actually, just straight, straight on ahead right here. I think I see the totem up there between those. Oh, there it is, up on the edge there. Yep. The sparklies are not doing so well in this area. All right. Actually, here. Does my companion... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. He's seven. Okay, good. That's the right one. Sorry, I get keep getting uh, backwards on the. Uh, okay, uh, I keep getting backwards on um, on the what what my character's different pets are and things like that. So like this character doesn't have uh, our other ones way over there. Jeez. Okay. Um, 
Like, like, uh, this is, you know, I, I just sent my other characters, Energon, off for, uh, for training, because it had just hit 35, and, uh, so I had my other, the Bard up, which is actually an upgraded version of the Bard, so, it actually had some better stuff, so I was like, well, do I really need to be on that Bard? I need to go this way. Uh, but, turns out, no. This, this is the best companion I have right now, the Energon. On the on my cleric, so I like how he's just got his fishing pole hanging out. All right. Ah, I think that's the uh, heroic encounter over here for the. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see, what is it? Catch, uh, catch the needed weight of fish, 600. So I could sit over there and just catch a whole bunch of fish, uh, for that heroic adventure. Um, I think part of that, the dragon turtle comes and gets you too, um, or it tries to while you're in the middle of fishing. Uh, but, uh, it's one of those ones where it's not super interesting to probably watch. So, yeah, I'm not going to subject you all to that. All right. All right, I well, completely missed that. That was good. Okay. Hey, I killed a polar bear. All right, so next, uh, next up is over there, okay. This way. For those who follow my channel, I have been playing a little bit of Sea of Thieves as well, of as Neverwinter, and uh, this is not at all like Sea of Thieves. <laughs> Sailing onto this boat, so just reminded me a little bit of that. I think. Come on, up now. Out of the boat. Yeah, so this is kind of the tough part. Is you have to get enough up on shore so the boat will despawn for you. And look, we got another polar bear sitting right there waiting for us. stuck on a piece of snow. That's interesting. All right. Those are all activated. I think we've taken care of the quest for here right now. head through here in the fishing area just to see if we can spot the dragon uh, turtle. I don't think I don't think we will, but it's just a cool looking uh, cool looking dragon. Nope. 
Yeah, this, uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe this gets more exciting. I think there, I am starting to realize why I stopped going through this campaign. It's because it is very repeti repetitious and not very exciting. There's like... And collect dragon bones uh, slivers. Uh, look out there. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to collect some stuff for this guy. Uh, we need to... Totems of Destruction, okay. Destroy the Ice Hunter Totems. At Great White Bear and the Sea of Moving Ice, okay. And let's see, do, 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 any other... Let's see any other quests here in this area for this. All right, wait, uh... All right, where do I... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, take the fish to the fishmonger. Merchant, not the merchant, is it? No, I don't think it is. Yep. Right, do that. Okay, so I think the fishmonger's gotta be. Is it over here? Nope. Oh, uh, I think the it's pointing. Okay, wait. Not that one. It's going up and around here. Okay. Sorry, wasn't seeing the sparklies where it was taking me. It was actually pointing me to the right spot. Okay, fishmongers up here. There we go. Not the store. The elf tribe okay. Wolfgar's call to wade in the fight against Storval. Destroy the ice hunter totems and collect dragon bones uh, slivers. And now we can go back we down here. From our native lands, and we have many who are sick and wounded. If we are to regain our strength for the fight ahead, we need Okay, frigid fishing completes. Good. All right, so let's see. We need to go up here to destroy the ice hunter totems and collect the dragon bone slivers. Uh, do, do, do. I'm guessing those both are up here. Yep. Okay. Now let's head off and see if we can find them. Funny that it, yeah. I guess this is the way I need to go up here where it's kind of slanted down to the ocean. Hey. Okay. Now I gotta remember where I needed to go for... Okay, oh, there's uh, dragon bones, livers are off the guys I killed. Okay, good, perfect. Uh, so then I just need to... Destroy the hunter totems, which I think I actually destroyed one earlier. It was spawned over here. Yep. Okay, so that's one down. And uh, we have some of those. Okay, good. So we just need to keep looking for... Is it just me or am I sliding? Okay, <laughs> very odd what was going on there. Okay. That down, there's three of eight.
Okay. Some more of those. And okay. Here. I'm just gonna nuke it down with to get my divinity up. Okay. Where are we at? Six of eight and nine of twenty. Good. Okay. Let's head down here. Okay, bear riders don't seem to drop any of those dragon bone slivers. So maybe we don't take those out anymore. Alright. There we go. Okay, totems are all down. Let's take this guy out. There we go. Who's hitting me? Seems like someone's hitting me. Nope, guess not. Okay. Alrighty, now we need seven more dragon bone slivers. Getting those quite a bit in these camps. So maybe I'll go back over here to this camp, see if there's any more there. This camp seems to be cleared out. Let's take these guys out here. Five more. I'm guessing it's just luck of the draw on these guys. So, okay. Let's. Okay, there's another one. We get down to four, three, two, one. I got one more to go. You guys are it. You're my lucky camp. There's one right there. Alright. So we're done with that. Good. Alright. And back we go. Thread the needle. Yeah, I can. Good. Okay. We'll just go jump in the water because. Hey, m might as well. Oh, hey, I'm up on the. Okay. See? It's very weird. It's very odd how they have the boats working on this thing. We're going the right way. I need to go down here. I need to go around that little point. The pointy point. All right. So I don't know. I mean, again, maybe this gets more interesting. I don't know. I, uh, let, let me know in the comments if you want me to keep with the with this uh, 
Storm King's Thunder area here. Because um, it's just... I don't know. This doesn't seem interesting to me. I mean, it's a cool-looking environment. Uh, pretty cool-looking mechanics. I mean, some of the frozen mechanics you have, like, especially when you take to the Svarborg, um, uh event, the, the trial, um, which is a 10-person trial. Uh, it's actually really... It's actually very, very cool, several mechanics that are in there. Um, if you kind of want to know about that, I think I, I have a video of that on my on my Ranger um, doing that event. Uh, and it's... The uh, oops. Uh, better kayak? kayak? Okay. But anyways, it's... Um, yeah, so we'll pick up a better kayak, kayak now. So uh, we have 80% movement speed while, while sailing. So, yeah, we'll take that. Um... Anyway, so, I mean, there's some cool mechanics in some of these fights, but, uh, again, I just, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think I've, maybe I just haven't gotten far enough into this area in this campaign to really make this, uh, to really understand what's going on with it. So, cast the bones complete. Cool. That's all done. Forewarned. Activate the alarm spells hidden in Ice Hunter totems around the sea of moving ice. Uh, I'm trying to think, isn't that the same quest we just did? Uh, hmm. Uh, do, 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 do. Save moving ice. Nope, that's not it. Forewarned. Okay. No, I think this is still a. Yeah, no, it's a orange. It's a yellow one. So, all right. Well, okay. Just seems like that was a very similar one that we'd already did. So, okay, come on, let's talk to this guy. Lodestones, recover lodestones from large fleet. frost giant Many long ships around the sea of moving ice. Okay. And then, do, do, do. This. Here's the frost giant. Oh, Big secrets. The ring of winter. Not all of my kind of soul. Okay, big the secrets, recover the frost giant documents on frost fire in the sea of moving ice. Okay, let's go do that too. All right. Uh, let's see, where do we need to go? Uh, oh, all the way up here. Lodestones up there. Activate the alarm spells and then recover that. Okay, so cool. So, uh, oops. Yeah, oh, that was the, uh, shoot. Maybe you guys can scroll back and see that, but that was the, uh, Dragon Turtle. Yeah, it's right there. Let's go over and take a look at. Oh, no, no, that, that's somebody's boat now. So there's a bunch of these folks that are out here doing this. Uh, fishing thing, um, but the dragon tur turtle just just tagged that person there. It's kind of funny. So oops, yeah, I'm not gonna hit you. Sorry. It's uh, yeah. So anyways, eh, you know if you get a chance, uh, wait. Uh, let me out of here. I don't want to. I don't want to do this. All right, but yeah, go, s scroll back in the video and you can see that dragon turtle. It's a pretty pretty cool looking guy. So anyways, at least I think so. Uh, all right, so we're gonna head this way because we need to go up here and recover the frost giant documents. They're all up on here, as well as activating the alarm spells. And there's this lodestone here as well. So we'll go ahead and hit that and uh, see where we're at here. Oh, and we have completed our legacy campaign. So maybe what we'll do is we'll do finish up this quest here. And then we'll head back to Protector's Enclave because I want to be able to show you that and we can see kind of what you get on those items. So, anyways. Alright, so there's an alarm. Uh, recover Frost Giant Documents there and recover Lodestones down here. So we're going to hit this and then we're going to move our way up. And we're going to try not to run ourselves aground as, as we do this. Yeah, so we're going to loop around here. I just figure we can all go in one direction um, as, as we do this. It's on that, yeah, it's on that long ship, isn't it? That giant long ship. Okay. How do I get up on this guy? Ah, here we go. 
Cool. All right, so we climbed up here on the ore. That puts us all the way in the back here. We've got these giants here. Go back. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. There's a quest, but here I will get that quest in a second after I need to take this guy out, I think. Cool, okay. So, let's take a look at this quest item we just picked up. We'll dump that guy out. We'll dump this guy out as well. All right, so what do we have here? Giant rations. Okay, so collect giant rations from the frost giants around the sea of moving ice. We're going to get uh, 100 von and Berlin for that. Cool, all right, so we will work on that. got some rations and we got some more rations all right so now there should be a lodestone up here somewhere up there in this chest I think May maybe frost oh that's frost giant documents okay so where is the lodestones off of these guys Maybe they drop from the giants, I guess. Hmm. What's over here? Lodestone chest. Okay, cool. It's in a chest over here. All right, good. So we found a lodestone. So that's one of five lodestones, and with one of two documents in search of documents on the frost uh, spire. Um. So we got one of two on ships, and someone's there. Okay, good. So now. So we took care of that one. So we got another lodestone here, and then we got documents, alarm spell. Okay, so we got a lot to go over on this other island over here. So we will zip away from this ship. We completed everything we need to do there, and now let's go over here. So yeah, I think the other thing I don't like about this is there's just a lot of moving around like this. Um, yeah. This ship looks like it's partially sunk. A little easier to get on this one. Yeah, it's kind of wrecked. So, let's go over here. I don't see anything on this side. Right, right, right. Nothing there, nothing there. Let's see, is there a chest in the middle here that I can get up on? Or that I can... Okay, come on. Okay, here we go. Up here. There's something. Okay, what's this one? This one is uh, bear skin. Okay, so we're gonna get that if we collect bear skins. And I think there's another bear skin there, so we get that guy. And now this is another lodestone chest. All right, so that's that. And now we got giant documents and alarm spell up there. So I think what we can do is, can we get up in here on this? Yes, we can. Cool. All right. So let's roll over here is that uh, way up there maybe we need to go this way that looks interesting but there's nothing I can do with that so maybe it's for some different quest all right so let's see where are we going here we need to go all the way up and around to there okay to activate the alarm spell boy that's a long run 
Yeah, I know. I'm avoiding a bunch of these guys. I probably need to kill some of them, but I'll kill them when I need to. Uh, do, 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 do. Ulf Bone Nasher. Yeah, we do this. Ah, hello. Okay, Bone Nasher's tough. Come on, there we go. Come on, out of there. Up we go. Okay. Come on, here we up. Uh, there we go. Hello. Let's get this bear out of there. There we go. Named down. Watch, I'm gonna have to probably go kill that guy later, huh? All right, well, let's see. Uh, now that, that guy's down, let's take these guys out. I think I missed on that. There we go. That one didn't miss. Okay, I got one of the bear skins. More bear skins. And let's see. Uh, I think that was a lodestone. Documents. Cool. Okay, so we've got one document off of Frost Fire and one document off of Ships. And then I think we've got a. Yeah, and around here is where we're going to need to do our... We're going to have to kill these guys. Alright. I like when they self-destruct for us. Okay. Where'd you go off to, dude? <laughs> that was interesting. More giant rations. And is this the totem over here? I don't know. Okay. Giant rations and this totem. For some reason I think I probably could have come out and gone around there a lot easier. Okay, so most of that stuff's done. Okay, I need to get some giant documents that are down here. Uh, all the way down on the south side here. So I think it's easiest if I just go out here. And do I, can I go around? Turn, 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 turn. Come on, you can do it. Let's stop drifting. Nope, this way. Go this way. Stop drifting. There we go. I go around this way and get in up here, I think, maybe. Maybe I can. Which was silly because I could have just gone the way I was already going outside there, but that's okay. Uh, up we go, and Sigrun. Okay, well, let's kill Sigrun. Okay. Kind of interesting that I'm not... There's nothing's dropping off these named giants. Okay, so what I want to get is up there. Okay. Let's see if I can run this thing around here real quick. And see what we can do. If we can go around here and up and around here. And I'm going to see if I can get around. Ah, 
Ugh. More giant rations. Okay, that's complete. Uh, documents. Okay, that's done. Okay, good. Now, uh, off here to recover more of these giant documents and capture those lodestones. Okay. Jump down here into the water. And then we'll just do that. Okay. We may not have a chance to get back here because I think this is going to be... Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish all of this stuff before the end of the episode, but uh, we will have to do the turn. Again, this is why I don't really like this area, because it just takes so dang long to get things done. Like, you spend a lot of time doing this. It's essentially like running across the map, uh, and it's not very fast to do that, so... Yeah, so I don't know. We This, this might be the last episode that we do... Uh, we do this kind of stuff. Uh, let's see. Can I get up here over here? I think I can get up over here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, come on. Off of that. Good. And do I have anything there? Nope. Okay. So I think this is one where I'm searching the ship for documents. is pointing me this way but that's just to leave this thing there should be a dock maybe up in that chest what do we got here Boom wielder oh, that's not good get out of the way there we go okay come on tug doggy there we go Okay, another lodestone. Four or five, okay. Can I jump over that? Yes, I can. Okay, so where do I think the other lodestone is? Maybe up here on this guy? Yep. That was good timing on the uh, on uh, Prophecy of Doom for hitting. <laughs> okay, there's the last of the lodestones. Good, good, good. Now, uh, giant documents. Okay, uh, last document should be down at the other end of the ship. Good. Maybe we will get this done. Who knows? We'll see. It's over here. Let's see if I can parkour around these guys. And that's done there. So the last thing we really need to do up here is activate the alarm spells. One, two, three of those ones. Uh, do, do, do. Let's run over here. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. All right. All right, actually, I'm not going to activate the alarm spells right now. It's just too much of a travel place to go. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I want to go turn this stuff in really quick. So I'm actually going to do something I rarely, if ever, do. And that is use one of these teleportation. Take me back to there. Because uh, at the very end of this here, um, I just wanted to show you what this looks like when we're... Um, 
completing these weekly encounters. So, all right, so let's go over here, get it, put us right where we needed to be. We're right down here. All right, so once we've completed a weekly encounter, uh, we got those legacy campaigns done. All right, so we're gonna get 11,000 experience, almost 12,000 experience, 51 silver, 10 secrets of Austeria, mysterious secrets of the long lost Austerian Empire using the Storm King's Thunder campaign. Great, we're kind of in the middle of that. 10 town supplies, this is also used in Bryn Shandar um, and Lonelywood for in, again in the Storm King's Thunder campaign. Uh, we got our runic pieces, we got the 400 bond and blood, five heroes of medallion, or five heroes medallion, and then plus our bonus currency, which is uh, the, 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 the dread ring stuff, which gives us Thayan scrolls and Thayan scripts, which is great. So, cool. So now, we have that, and look, we could even get one upgrade token, so we're getting five of those, actually, sorry, five of those we get per turn in, so that's, if you do three weeklies, that's 15, that gets you enough to get some of these, uh, where you can save up for some of these higher end stuff. Um, we'll hold on to them right, for right now. It does take a lot of these companion upgrade tokens to actually upgrade your companion, uh, and it might be cheaper to just do those with astral diamonds, so I'm trying to think, if, man, if we do three of those, we pop that, we get an extra 50,000 rough astral diamonds as we're doing uh, dungeons and, and skirmishes pretty soon. And then, um, you know, we may actually end up with more astral diamonds that way, which will allow us to buy companion upgrade packs uh, or just higher end, up, uh, higher end companions, you know, epic level companions instead of uh, upgrading them. Anyways, um, that's going to have to be it for today. Uh, so... Dismount. There we go. Uh, yep. There we go. Uh, we'll turn around like that way. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So <laughs> anyways, that's gonna have to be it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Hit subscribe. Little bell icon. You'll get updates when these uh, new videos come out. Um, this should still stay weekly for a while. Not sure we're gonna go back to Storm Kings. Uh, at least not on camera. I just think it's I'm not sure I was bored recording this so I'm hoping you weren't uh, or at least found this a little bit interesting uh, instead we may go back to Undermountain and we may go back and do some of these other things a little more active and and engaging so anyways until tomorrow I will see you all later goodbye